Did you do some climactic firings of people? I fired a guy that turned out to be... I I, I, I put my hand up to fire the guy too. Um, I was like, I'll do it. You know, like... And it, it turned out to be so shit. So this guy was former... Uh, he was in the army. We used to be in the army. Got discharged because he had a helicopter accident. And he was in whatever. So he couldn't work... He couldn't be in the armed forces anymore. Turned out he was like just this absolute stud. Right, like SAS sort of shit. I didn't know any of this. I wasn't scared. The guy is just a kitchen hand, so I fired him because he was, he was he just a forty-five-year-old kitchen hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a white guy, very, very unusual. Just like a very conscientious worker. Bit weird, but we all are, you know. Why? And the, but what was the discretion? Oh, he kept on like not turning up, but what he was doing was having just episodes. He was having like mental health episodes. Mm. You didn't know. He didn't tell you. But he wasn't showing up for work. And then we'd just come to work and tell the kitchen hand that we'd managed to get because he wasn't there to leave. And then he just, all of a sudden, he would just be there doing dishes. You're know, like, where's the other guy? And where are you ever? Yeah. Right? So that was that. And they He's were like, oh, we got... on his face. He's like all painted up. He used to come with the... I just thought he was a little bit... Um, Psycho. Yeah, because he'd come with fatigue sometimes. Fatigue. Oh, like syndrome. <laughs> yeah. chronic fatigues. All of the fatigues. <laughs> yeah. Head to toe fatigues. <laughs> exactly. Inside and out. Yeah. Net fatigues. So what? M sixteen fatigues. He took yeah. He took <laughs> in camouflage, but you knew he was always there. Yeah. So he was there. He just, he's just in camouflage. Wasn't able to take his makeup was, off yet. We didn't know. Him, yeah, we didn't know how good he was at blending into his surroundings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he, so I was like, yeah, cool. I'd say, well, I don't care. Like whatever. It wasn't like a hateful thing. It was just like, let's. I'm done because I would have to do the dishes, and and everyone would have to. So I was, I'm I'm so sick of doing the dishes when he doesn't show up and all this sort of stuff. Yeah. Just get the guy he keeps sitting away. So I was I, really politely. I was like, dude, we can't have. We need someone that's reliable. And I was like, I knew a guy down the road who would just employ her. So that was the main thing. I was like, dude, if you want a job there, it's just everyone here, you know. And he was kind of cool about it. But when we in, we left for the Arvo, and we had a function at night, so it wasn't we could have a break. So we went on a break, and we got a call of like, fuck, the, the gas is on, and the, the, the fireys are here and shit. So we had to come back to work. What had happened, he turned all the gas on on one side, even the mains, right? He connect, disconnected the main, just put it and put one burner on low on the complete what opposite side the of the kitchen. Fuck, and it started, it filled up the restaurant with gas smell and everything um, to the point where it must have been, there must have been some sensor that senses this because it was in, um, it was in the basement of one of the buildings, the, the Central Park building in the city. And um, so it, there must have been some sensor that shut it off or, that made the fireys come because no one rang them. No one in the restaurant rang them. They were just like, what's that smell? All of a sudden they were there. Or they come, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, we had to come back. And then that's what the fire is like, yeah, dude, are you are you trying? They were like, uh, is any of you trying to explode a place? Because this is exactly how you would do it. So he just, yeah, manipulated stuff. Even stuff we found like right down the back that wasn't connected to gas, he'd undone. So he was just trying to flood the gas and had this little tiny flame. I was like, dude, he's absolutely commandoed the place. So, but, anyway, he, but he was real calm about the firing. Didn't care. No well, problem. To the, he <laughs> was he was like, thank you for thank you for your time, Lockie. He was like, oh, he, he was, was so understanding. Was like, of course you can't have someone not show up. I understand. It's really nice of you to already find me a new job. You know. But I'm going to blow this place up. And just went. Okay, I know what I'm doing. And just silently left. Yeah. Was he trying to kill people? I don't know. I think so. I would say... I mean, I reckon... I would say he took it to heart. <laughs> as much as I was complaining about being a shit person, that guy took it to another level. Yeah, but then we found out later what he, who, who he actually was or what he's passed. He's yeah. like his elite. Yeah. Like and now he's doing dishes. I can kind of see. And then he got fired by this young punk. And just let's blow... I know how to blow things up. 